Welcome to Lethal Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how I built this, a 3D printed Captain Phasma helmet. I got the files for this 3D print on Thingiverse from a user named Jeffro. Each of these pieces took between 8 and 12 hours to print. There are 20 pieces to this 3D print. The difficulty with having 20 pieces is that you have to glue them all together and glue them together so that they're straight and so all the future pieces align together. My plan is to start at the top of the helmet, glue all those pieces together, and gradually work my way down using this flat tile to make sure that all the pieces are kind of level and then hopefully all the pieces will fit together nicely. So yeah, there you go, that's the front half of the helmet and the back half of the helmet with the two little um, eye cutouts for molding the uh, visor shield. And actually before I start gluing, what I'm gonna do first is sand down all of the pieces, especially on the edges so that I get nice flush joints. 100 grit to start. I've got all these pieces sanded down and now I'm gonna glue them together. I'll just be using regular super glue to glue these together. So I did a very poor job of gluing that all together. Like in these spots where four pieces come together, you can see that they just don't join together correctly. So I'm gonna try something different for the rest of the helmet. What I'm gonna do is try to glue kind of each quarter of the helmet together and then glue those four pieces together. That seems to have worked out pretty well. <laughs> so I've got the helmet all glued together and that uh, was just as tough as I thought it would be. It was really difficult to get all these pieces perfectly aligned with each other and then once one piece got a little bit off that caused all the future pieces to get messed up as well. It'll still be salvageable though, it'll just be a pain to sand this all down so it looks all the pieces look, come together flush. Now I'm going to take some wood filler to try and smooth out the seams in between the pieces. Now I'm going to take some uh, filler primer and spray over the helmet so I can see where all of my imperfections are so that I can continue this whole sanding process. Let's try this on, I haven't tried it on yet. <laughs> so after the first coat of filler primer, the seams are all still very noticeable. So what I'll do is I'll sand this down a little bit to find out where all the high most spots are and then go back through with some wood filler, apply some more wood filler, sand that down, and then another coat of the filler primer and rinse and repeat until I finally can't see the seams anymore. High gloss black. So I've got the helmet all painted up black, and now what I'm gonna do is tape off the parts that I wanna keep black and then spray the chrome all over it. So 
So I've got it all taped up. Now let's go give it a coat of some chrome paint. Coat number two. So after two coats, here's the painted Captain Phasma helmet. A uh, quick thing about the color, uh, I use this Krylon chrome paint. The color on the cap does not match the color in real life, which was to be expected. This is like a mirror finish, whereas what I actually got is just like a bright silver finish. I've looked into it a little bit and getting a spray on chrome finish is pretty expensive. Let's uh, remove the tape. Pretty cool. Spraying that silver paint over the black turned out pretty well. The next thing I need to do is mold some acrylic to make a little eye shield here. I'm gonna do that using this uh, black acrylic sheet, which I'll heat up and then place over a mold. So now I'm going to heat my oven up to 300 degrees and heat up this piece of acrylic so that it gets nice and malleable and then I'm going to bend it to the shape of the ice shield. If it appears like I'm just winging it, that's because I am. Here's the completed eye shield. It's got a lot of very uh, complex contours. It took me about 20 times to get right. What ended up working was heating the oven up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then setting the piece of acrylic on a baking sheet and then leaving it in the oven for about five minutes. It's extremely malleable at that point and I took it out of the oven, put it into the helmet and then just pressed down to get it to form to the contours of the helmet. So now I'm gonna glue this into place. The last thing I need to do to finish up this helmet is to add some padding on the inside of the helmet. To do that, I'm gonna cut strips of this old exercise floor tile and then hot glue them into the helmet. The Captain Phasma helmet is now complete. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. This is now the third helmet I've completed. I've got a Kylo Ren helmet, a Stormtrooper helmet, and now the Captain Phasma helmet. There's a couple of things that I would have done differently if I were to do this again. Um, I would have worked a little harder on the seams. They're very noticeable in this print, the seams in between the 3D printed parts. Um, I was able to smooth out the actual parts really well, so you can't really see the 3D printed lines, but the joints between pieces is very evident. There's still several more helmets that I plan on doing, including Bubba Fett and the new Stormtrooper helmet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy some of my other videos. And you can also subscribe down below to be notified about my future projects.